Hot Wheels. <laughs> this is our latest video, and this is what's it called? It's a Roger Dodger E75 Monstrosity. Oh, is it an E75? Is it? No. No, you just said it's called an E75, but it is not an E75. Oh, okay. Um, this is what's going to confuse people and do not get bought into this. Do not buy this tank thinking you're getting an E75 at tier eight. Not only does it look a monstrosity, it's nothing like an E75. We'll come to that when we go through it. You can see the car influences on the front, the front headlights and the exhaust coming out of the back. Get this on a night mat, and you're really going to need your sunglasses. Are we saying viewer discretion is required? Yeah, yeah. put your sunglasses on now if you're watching this at night because it's going to get bright. This has got some funky neons all over it, um, manifolds coming out of the front there, exhaust coming out of the back. There you can see the car at the front. Um like I say, it's called a Roger Dodger E75S. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. Do you know where it actually is then? Or is it unique? It's supposed to be an E75. Look, you see the E75 TS. So it's got a massive engine, 12,800 brake horsepower engine. A gun that you don't see on the E75 or the Tiger II. Um, it's all of its own. Aim time's okay, 2.7.38. Actually, 2.27 pen, but look at the fire rate, 4.44 rounds per minute. It's a real long reload. Real long. Turret armor, 230 mil. You're thinking, oh, that's that's close to E75. Not quite as thick as an E75, but it's up there. It's pretty close. But it's curved. Yeah. This is curved. Yeah, it's nothing like the E75 turret. No, this is better. It's got good armor and it's curved. No, it's not a stand up. You'll notice that the uh, <sighs> E75 one has got its gun mallet and then it angles away from it, so it's far superior. But curved is better. No, it's not. Not from side. You'll go straight through this. Okay. So let's have a look. Roger Dodger. So we've got 1,500 hit points. It's tier 8. So what do you expect? Engine. It's a massive engine, but it just doesn't go nowhere. Look at the engine. Look at the size of the engine, but look at the power to weight ratio. Wow. Well, no, I'm just thinking. Weighs 16. 16. 45 kilometer an hour top speed, but it does die on the nail. The gun, we've already mentioned there, 13 and a half second reload, 2.78 time, 8 degrees of gun depression. It's okay. It's just not your other tier 8s are going to reload a lot quicker and they're going to punch harder sometimes if not just a little bit less no real advantage there's then tracks the absorb a fair bit if you can angle your tank nicely but that's your least of your worries view range is quite high as well 390 meters 22 rotation so it's pretty slow it's not going to be whipping around that quick signal range is never an issue 710 meters rounds pretty potent with shell velocity just lacking a little bit in power. 360 damage is it's okay for tier 8, but when you get a tier 10 match with a big old reload, you're going to get minced before you've even reloaded. There's your crew. They're all over the place. Usual standard positions. It's when you get to the armor that things start changing. This is not an E75. I repeat, this is not an E75. There's a lot of yellow on there. A lot of yellow. They should change the name to E75 HW. So people know it's a Hot Wheels E75. It's just, we're in there, look at the shell. Your turret is pretty strong, but it's not impervious. It's not angled as well as an E75 turret. It's nowhere near the same shape. So your turret is completely not an E75 turret in any way, shape, or form. Just doesn't do the same job. Things go through it. And there, look at that. 120 mil upper arm. That is less than you get on a Tiger 2. Wow. That's only 20 mil thicker than you get on a Tiger 1. You are not wow. impervious. You think you're rolling around in a tier a E75 that you normally get. Look at that 95 mil lower plate. It's. You know, I'm going to look at the armor we've got on other tanks. So it's tier. So this is an E75. This is a proper thoroughbred E75, fully upgraded. I've looked at the standard one as well. There's not much difference. Look at the shape of the turret. A lot better angled. Good look, point. Look how much turret armor you've got. 252 mil on the front. 160. You've got 40 mil more armor on the upper hull than on. And then 130 on a lower plate, 35 mil more armor on a lower plate. This is not an E75 at tier eight. Do you have to buy your Rog Dodge? No, or you, earn it. You earn it at the end. You have to get a season pass to get the Rog Dodge, but you do earn it. So let's have a look. So it's oh yeah, you've lowered armor. So let's have a look at a Tiger Two, Tech Tree Tiger Two. What armor has he got? A little less on the turret front, 150 mil, 30 mil more frontal armor on a Tiger II at tier 8 than you've got on a Roger Dodger. If you see a Roger Dodger on a battlefield, you've got a pretty similar lower plate, you've got 5 mil more on a Tiger II, but that's where you shoot a Tiger II to pen him. If you shoot around at the front of a Roger Dodger, chances are you're going to go through it. People are getting these this tank and thinking, I've got an E75 at tier 8, it's amazing, I'll be able to boss a game. No, it's not got the armor, you can't do it. Roger Dodge, then Kill 05. 
not an E75, clearly. Not an E75 at all, in no way, shape or form. We haven't got the gun, I mean, you notice the E75 is doing another 400 damage a shot, we're doing 360 and we're reloading pretty similar time. King Tiger or Tiger 2, whichever you want to call it, is reloading faster and he's only doing 40 less damage. He's a little bit more armoured as well, and not any less manoeuvrable to be fair. It's not like you're gaining masses of manoeuvrability for this lacking of armour. I don't understand why it's so lacking. In why call it an E75 when it's I clearly not? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just, I mean, it's, it's not even got the armour of a Tiger 2 anywhere near. It's 30 mil less armour than a Tiger 2. It doesn't look like an E75. No. So they could call it something completely different and they wouldn't be making people think it was an E75. No, everybody else went, oh, I'd love an E75 at tier 8. That's going to be a beast. That's going to be an absolute animal. E75 armour at tier 8. And it hasn't got it. It hasn't got it. I'm afraid to knock you down there. It's got the armour of a medium tank. It's got medium tank armour. Oh, is it supposed to be heavy? Yeah, it's an heavy tank. Wow. It's just got medium tank armour. You, 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 we've had games this way. You've just got, like, tanks who are just taking shots and everything hits and everything pens. Everything goes through. It's not like it stands up at any degree. Don't forget you're seeing tier 10s in this. If it, it's one of them tanks I'd be confident in a tier 10 in just snapping a shot off. I'm not even worried about aiming for a lower plate or anything like that. I don't get what that guy's doing. I really don't understand what he's doing there. I do. Yeah, but why? <laughs> I don't understand what he's doing. We'll, we'll put one into the... But the reload's massive. We've got a gun rammer on here as well as a fully trained up crew. What? I don't know what that guy's doing either. He's just... Uh... That was bad timing, wasn't yeah, it? he didn't want to do that. He really didn't want to do that. It's quite manoeuvrable, though. Yeah, it does a job. It's not a, a poor tank. I just think it's, like, on misguided terms. Wait for that. I've just got R2-D2 on front trim there. Wait for it to come past where we are aiming. He was side on. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of this guy's way here now. All right, pal. All right. All right, calm down. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out here. You're getting in my way. Oh, oh, that didn't pay off for him. Ooh. I mean, that's that. I know which side is on there, but even that, that T25 would go straight through the front of me. Ever, I'm not even exaggerating here. Tier 6, I've had tier 6 mediums go straight through the front of me with no problem. Just snappy shots off. Does it need a buff? I don't know. I just think it, it's like false pretenses. You've got no armour at all to play with. I'm going to take one here anyway. I'm going to stick one into I'm hoping that's every tank with here. So I'm just going to try and push him into my face. And it's not really going to help me because. The one thing it's got going for it at the minute is people think it is an E75 and they don't always shoot at you for that reason because they think, oh, what's the point? I'm not going to pen that. And everything goes through. Everything goes through. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Ooh, I don't know what he's doing there. I, I just wait. Wait. <laughs> God knows what he'd been shooting at if he had just fired. Uh, we're going to try and take this KV. I don't know what this KV's game plan is here. I don't know how this played out in a, in a good scenario for him in any way, shape or form. But... We'll he's not moved, has he? <laughs> we just sat there. I mean, team's dying, to be fair. We're all on places slaughtering us, to be fair. They don't really need us. And I don't know where this shot goes. It looks like it's pretty aimed in. It goes above it, doesn't just it? Above. Uh, that just sums my day up. But we blocked a shot. We actually blocked a shot in the Roger Dodger. So there's people out there, that's all I'm trying to say, is if you're like thinking, I need to get this season pass done, I can't miss out on the C-75, don't get your hopes up. This tank's okay. The guns, it's the usual German gun. You know what you're getting through it, don't you? It's pretty reliable. You can get odd one where it'll roll eye like it just did then. Making a right meal of this. Absolute meal of it. Why don't you back up and shoot? <laughs> just did, just making sure. He just fired, so I've got a little bit of time to kill. I mean, I just uh, rammed this guy around the map. <laughs> from start to finish. Uh, team's dead anyway now. Let's just try and get as many points as we can. We've got four kills. Uh, the Roger Dodger, it's semi-mobile, it's got a decent, accurate gun on it. It's not got stand-up armour, it's not reliable in that degree and form. Like I say, the gun's decent, you can use it. It's just, I, I don't feel trusting enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another tier 8 heavy. That reload kills it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It really does. I mean, the pen's pretty good, you're not going to struggle with, oh, I could have done with that. Too. Mercy yeah. right. Yeah. Um, no, we're over now. We're dead. Look, nothing's. They're not even aiming. They're just auto locking and shooting, and it's going through. They, they, no one's having to aim. See the angle of that T29, then yeah. he went through. Yeah, it's, it really is. I've, I've had, like, bullied by tier 7 mediums. And wow. It's just because of the massive reload, you can't get back at it. It's impossible. Do you want the end screen? Yeah, we'll, we'll see what the coin is it next. Cause Go on. It is a premium tank, after all. It's taken a while to come up here. Isn't it, it is. It's like, what have you done to it, man? Crashed it. Barbados.
Wow, one twenty-five. Well, it may, yeah, it makes a little bit of coin. We've done four thousand. I've got some loss as well. Uh, sniper, you can see there that gun is reliable. With blocks, one thousand six hundred. I think that was just like KV five player. Just I don't think he knew what he was doing. To be fair, <laughs> where to shoot anything? I think he was shooting me at gun man. Uh, as a general rule, though, this it doesn't stand up. Do you think this is in the wrong tier? I don't know. I think it is a pretty balanced tier eight. I just think it's being sold as something that there isn't. If, if does that make sense? It's made out to be. I mean, look at these neon now at night games. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is the problem. It's people. Think, thing is, if you look at it, you know it's not an E twenty five. Yeah, it, it's people, just got the name. Yeah, look at your armor profile before you you put your money in your pocket. It's just not what it's made out to be. It's a good tank though, but it's just not what you think you're getting. Does that make sense? I don't want to be confusing here, but it, that this uh, but it's usable. What I'm saying is the player has got to be a bit naive because it doesn't look like an E75. It might be a German tank because it's in the German line. Yeah. It doesn't look like one. And the armor's not the same. Reload's not the same. I mean, it, look at it, it's blue. It glows. <laughs> the only similar thing is it's got E75 in the name. Yeah. And that's it, and that's the misleading thing. That's why I don't understand why they've done it. Uh, but don't get me wrong, this is a fairly decent tank. It's mobile, the guns... I mean, the spotting range is fantastic. Look at that, we've got nearly 3,000 assisted in this tier 10 game. 300 night meter view range, don't forget. If you put optics on it, if I don't think I'm running optics at the minute, which is even more... Look at that light, neon lights it up there. And look, everything's just going bosh straight through. Bosh straight through. They don't even need to aim for weak spots. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's that weekly front there. Keep forgetting it's a heavy and yeah, it's not medium, is it? It's like playing a medium with a massive reload that's just sluggish. It really is. I mean, the view range, look at this. Look at the system we're racking up here. 20. <laughs> up to like. Well, no. that's what I mean. You say it goes through, but you're heavy. Yeah. As it shots you tech and you're thinking, if you're in a Tiger 2 or an E75, they just wouldn't go through. It'd be impervious to it. And you. It's like you're in an heavy tank and you're getting shot by two tiers below your mediums face on and they're going straight through you. But are we talking yeah, game mechanics or are we talking this tank? Just this tank. It's not, it's not to do with R&D or anything like that. But uh, As a tank, summon it up, it's okay. It's nothing spectacular. It's not to write home about. It does a job. It's okay. Which I think is probably why they've done it the way it is. Because if it were OP, people would be going mad because it'd be everywhere. It's not OP. No, it's not OP at all. Let's see what you did in this game, man. Quickly round it up in like 10 seconds. It's a silver earner. It's got a good gun on it that's accurate because it's German. It's got no armor that you can rely on. It's maneuverable and it's got a decent view range. It's just Joe average at best. Are you hit points for tier 10? Big time. Wow. Anyway, Killers 05, thank you very much for your Rog, the Dodger, Hot Wheels, E75. And later...